All right, this is Unit 3, Part 2, Video Homework 2. We're going to talk today about mineral hardness testing. All right, one of the properties of minerals that we study is hardness. Okay, the hardness of a mineral is its resistance to being scratched. All right, so record that on your homework paper. The hardness of a mineral is its resistance to being scratched. That's number one on your homework. All right, scientists test a mineral's hardness by scratching it against other minerals of known hardness. Okay, so like you can see in this picture right here, this white mineral is scratching a uh, darker mineral. So we know by this scratch test that this white mineral is harder than this dark mineral. All right, so there's number two on your homework. Scientists test a mineral's hardness by scratching it against other minerals of known hardness. Right. We measure the hardness of minerals using the Mohs scale of mineral hardness. Okay, It's a list of 10 minerals with known hardness values. And those are listed right here. Okay, This is the Mohs scale. These are the minerals. And this is the hardness. Okay, So number three, there's uh, for number three on your homework. All right, number four, the minerals on the hardness scale are arranged from softest to hardest. All right, The softest one is talc. It has a value of 1. It's the softest. The hardest mineral is diamond. It has a hardness of 10. It's the hardest. Okay, There's a Mohs scale. All right, Number 5, harder minerals can leave a scratch on softer minerals. All right, that's number five on your homework. Harder minerals can leave a scratch on softer minerals. All right, so if I, for example, they have here quartz, which is number seven, it will scratch feldspar, which is number six, but it will not scratch topaz, which is number eight. All right, a diamond, because it's number 10, the hardest, cannot be scratched by any other mineral. This is another example of the Mohs hardness scale. Okay, this scale shows minerals and other objects of known hardness. All right, for example, a fingernail can scratch gypsum. See this right here? Where's the fingernail? It can scratch gypsum, but it cannot scratch calcite because the fingernail is in between the hardness of gypsum and calcite. Same thing for the penny. Penny could scratch calcite, but it couldn't scratch fluorite. Fluorite would scratch the penny. All right. Glass is another example. Uh, glass can scratch the mineral apatite, but it could not scratch the mineral orthoclase. But orthoclase could scratch glass. It's in between. And then steel or metal, well, let's say steel, like a knife, can scratch. It's the same hardness as quartz. Okay. In the next part of the video, we're going to watch some actual mineral, mineral hardness testing using the minerals and some other objects shown in this Mohs hardness scale. So when you watch that part of the video, you're going to record the things that um, the teacher is using, the minerals that she's using to scratch, and record them where they belong on the hardness scale at the bottom of the page.